In the fall of last year, I saw a company that was doing something really great. And so I reached out to them to kind of talk about it. And let me explain a little bit more. So there's this company called Electric Love. They make pedals like these. And Electric Love is owned by a guy named Ben Carlin. In reading about what happened and why this guy created this company, I found out that his wife had breast cancer. And this is about 2015. She's since beat it now and she's doing better. But then two years later, his daughter then had a brain tumor as well. So he'd been through a heck of a lot. It broke my heart. And uh, so I reached out to him and I said, look, I've had some family that's been through similar things and I wanna do whatever I can to help you. I don't want paid, but I would love to be a part of it in some way. So we kind of kept lines of communication open and, um, and we created something cool. But first, I wanna talk a little bit about what he's doing because it's really important. He's taking all of the profits, not taking, he's not making any money off it at all. All of the money he makes from building these pedals go to Breast Cancer Research Foundation simply for cancer research. Now, these are built from kits, I believe, and what I want to do, I said, Ben, I think we can make a really great pedal together. I'll create something unique, something that's not on the market. It'll be a great sounding, and I think people would love it. I think they would love the cause, you know, the, the cause of the whole thing. And uh, we cre created this pedal called the Aquatone. The Aquatone is, uh, it's based around like this blues driver topology, sort of. Uh, in fact, that's where my last blues driver video, that's kind of where the inspiration came from because I was working on this circuit. But this circuit was created sort of from that topology. It's not an exact blues driver clone because I'm not a big fan of doing exact clones. So I've, it's, got, it's got its own thing and I'll get more into that in a minute. And there are a very limited number of supply of these. I don't recall how many, maybe 60 or 70. So there's not that many. So make sure you jump on this and grab them. It's for a great cause as well. So let's dive into a little bit about the pedal. So what we have here is a gain of volume, bass, mids, and treble. All active EQ on this. This switch here goes from more, to, more like the stock type of gain of the blues driver into really saturated, super distorted lead tone. But let me explain a little bit about this. So in the blues driver circuit itself, it actually has an active bass circuitry in there that is going to, it's going to actually boost the bass on the circuit at all times on the blues driver. Now, um, that's sometimes good, that's also like when you, whenever you have it turned down, that's why it sounds so transparent. And whenever you turn it up, it's why it kind of starts to sound flubby and bass heavy. It's because it's fixed. So rather than being fixed, I wanted to make that an actual control. So that's what we did. We added active mids, but we also modified the tone control. So with the gain down low, you can still get that really clean. Actually, I made it, we can go a little bit cleaner even, but really clean tone, just like you would on a typical Boss Blues driver. Now you'll notice I have the bass up a little bit. Again, that's because in the typical circuitry, there's some bass there. It's kind of like the bass control is at about that spot. But as I mentioned, once you start turning the gain up, you kind of want to dial that out. So let's start here. So you can go cleaner.
Some people in the past have talked about the blues drivers being a little bit fizzy. I typically would agree, and whenever I was doing a lot of mods back in the day, years ago, uh, I would try to take that fizziness out. In fact, uh, I did a mod for Brent Mason before we came out with the Hotwired, where that was kind of the gist of the mods, like take as much fizz of that out, add a little bit of beef to it, a little bit of mids, add a little bit of clipping dynamics, and that was kind of the mod. So that's, that's kind of where my brain started at here, but I didn't really do an exact mod like that because it's, it's using some different circuitry as well. So like I said, not an exact clone, but that's the skeleton we started from. So back to the pedal, it's got a ton of mids to it. So you can crank up the mids a heck of a lot. You can scoop it out to your heart's desire. Bass controls around 100, I think it's around 110, 120 or so. So you have a ton of bass there if you really want to. It's great for a bass, for a bass guitar. Right, as you turn the gain up, I dial the bass out of it because we don't want that flubbiness. Back to the pedal. <laughs> Just wanted to express my appreciation to everyone for their help. Um, this was a uh, a big team effort, and uh, it was a, it was a really fun project to do. I couldn't have done it without Brian. He was um, instrumental in, in making this process uh, as efficient and effective as it could be, and I couldn't uh, appreciate it uh, anymore. So thank you, Brian. If anybody has any comments, questions, feel free to hit me up in an email. And uh, I think uh, everyone will really enjoy the pedal. So I look forward to hearing what you guys think. And that's the Aquatone from Electric Love. Now, keep in mind, there are a very limited number of these pedals. So if you like it, act very quickly. It's probably going to sell out pretty quick. And that's kind of a good thing, though, because all of, the, all of these profits, all the profits for these pedals, all the profits for all of their pedals go directly to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. So make sure you check it out. I'll put a link to the Reverb Shop in the description. And uh, just go there, buy some stuff, you know, support a good cause. And I think you really will love the pedal. It's, it's actually, I have a gig coming up this weekend. It is on my pedal board for the gig. So it's, um, it's, it's really great, especially at gig levels. And for what I do, it's pretty much almost perfect. <laughs> but I'm biased. I designed the thing. Anyways, check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time with a new video.